Hi guys, just wanted to do a short video showing off the new Athern Genesis P40 and P42 locomotives that were released within the last couple of months. Um, I mainly wanted to post this video because I noticed nobody else really showed has a video up yet, at least on YouTube, of 203 or number 100. So um, these are really nice locomotives. I think Athern did a great job with them. Uh, the drives are completely redone compared to what the old blue box and um, even uh, they're a huge improvement over the ready to roll locomotives as well um, the shells are the same the biggest complaint i'm seeing online about them is the fact that they don't have see-through grills everywhere myself that doesn't really bother me um, i think they look fine as is and uh, right about now these locomotives are actually a pretty good value compared to a lot of the newer stuff out too um, the sound equipped ones if you shop around you can get them for around 250 or so and I actually have one here, number 100 is an on-sound model. I think I picked that one up for about 160. So they're a good value myself. I'd rather have, I'd rather have the molded on grills and save a little bit of money on them because all this stuff's getting expensive, just like everything else. But, but yeah, I figured I'd do a quick, uh, pretty much just a show and tell. I'm not gonna do an unboxing. They're regular Athern Genesis boxes. So. Um, I can't run number 100 on my layout because, like I said, it is a DC locomotive. I actually bought that for a special application at train shows. I have a setup where I can let kids run a small train, and I need a DC locomotive for that. So that's why I bought no number 100 DC only. But um, the sound on these is great, like usual, and I guess I'll just let you have a listen. I did. So I did notice there was a little bit of a difference with how the lighting's wired on 203 versus 837. And then I also, I have three more of these at the club too. I've got numbers uh, 184 from the first run. I've got number 160 and 108. Um, and I noticed that 203 is wired a little bit differently internally. Um, when you put 203 on the tracks, the number board light comes on right away and stays on the whole time it's not on function 25 like the rest of them and then i also noticed on 203 the rear marker lights aren't working right now i might have to get a hold of Athern for that and when it showed up the front markers the ditch lights and the number board were all set really dim from the factory so i don't quite know what's happened i've done quite a bit of cv changes on 203 to get it where we where i want it to be um number 837 though came out of the box absolutely perfect all the markers on that locomotive are fine um let me change direction here markers like i said the the number board on 837 are all are set to the correct brightness right out of the box um they all run really smooth um for you guys that are looking to buy the dc version my number 100 i i can't run it on the layout but i have a short piece of DC test track here in my train room I put it on on number 100 in forward you get the headlights ditch lights and front number board on and then when you actually run it in reverse on DC you get the front markers on the locomotive and the number board lights so you, you get quite a bit of lighting function on DC too which is nice and maybe that's why they redid the wire why 203 is wired differently because these two locomotives were released at the same time um 837 was released i believe a few a month or so ago 
I just I just got around to ordering it. I ordered it with these two. Um, <laughs> been having to sell some stuff to be able to afford to buy these things. But give you a closer look at 100 here because I think they did a really great job with the paint on this locomotive. Sorry about the camera setup. My train room's kind of a mess right now. I've actually been doing some scenery work on the layout for the first time in years. But I really think they did a great job. Um, especially on 100. If I get my camera to focus here. Of course, these come with the plastic couplers. I've gone and put KDs on them, so. But they all run nice. They all sound really good. I look forward to running a number 100 on the club layout because that's a dual mode layout, so. I can go set up a short superliner train and run that there. I suppose I'll bring 203 in a little bit closer. You guys to have a look at two. camera to focus here. But there's a couple of paint blemishes on my 203. I'm not going to worry about them too much because you're not going to really see them unless you're looking at them. You see the A under the Amtrak logo has got a little bit of a scuff. I noticed some of the masking lines on the cross bucks could be a little bit sharper, but it's not enough. I'm going to complain about it. I mean, this is a really complex paint job, so the fact that they've been able to get it this close is more than good enough for me. Let me spin it on the other side here. Keep doing this type of stuff. I'm going to need one of those little turntables like everybody else has. So... Like I said, um, this one, I haven't been able to get the rear marker lights to work yet, so i got to figure out what's up with that. But so Other than that, I haven't really had any issues with any of these locomotives. Um, put this one back on the tracks here. Go ahead and start half mode on uh, 837 here so you guys can listen to it. It's a pretty cool feature, I like it.
So yeah, not really a whole lot else to say about them. Like I said, I've got a bunch of these things. I, I like P42s, I always have. So glad there's finally uh, nice models available in HO scale. Um, and that's about all I got for today, guys. Like I said, the only problem I've had with any of the six that I have is just the marker lights on the back of 203, which I'll have to try to get worked out, um, either tinkering with it myself or just getting a hold of Atherin and see what's going on in there. But like I said, they're ridiculously heavy. They pull really well. Um, smooth runners. <laughs> Yeah, really nothing but good things to say about them so um well stay tuned i might post some more on the layout here eventually um just trying to been, get back into doing a little bit of scenery work so it's gonna be my project for the rest of the day is try to get the rock face on horseshoe curve at least in position it's not gonna get done but at least if i can get stuff in position i'll uh be one step closer to actually having a decent looking layout to run stuff on all right guys well, have a good have a nice weekend